mouse gestures. In this tutorial, I'll take a look at an interface shortcut to help speed up subsequent tutorials. This is known as mouse gestures. To begin, I'll create a new part. The units in this tutorial will be set to inches, so I'll change the units down here to IPS. Next I'll go to Tools, Customize, and go under Mouse Gestures. I'll set it to 8 gestures instead of the default 4, and I'll sort it by Part to see the gestures that are already assigned in the Part Modeling mode. Next I'd like to assign Sketch to the upper right mouse gesture. Where it says Category All Commands, I'll select Insert, and I'll search for Sketch. I'll click in the Sketch row, and select the drop down, and assign this to the upper right mouse gesture. Since I'll also be mapping the Extrude command, I'll skip a couple of these steps here for a moment. Next I'd like to map the extrude command to the lower right diagonal. So I'll change where it says sketch to extrude. I'm looking for the boss extrude, not the cut extrude. You can tell by the icon. I'll select the extrude arrow, uh, row and select the down arrow and then I'll select the lower right. Now if I clear the search field and go to all commands and sort for the part column, I can see that sketch and extrude appear in the list. Next what I'd like to do is create a sketch and draw a center rectangle on the origin using mouse gestures. I'll click OK to these customizations. In order to use the mouse gestures, I'll hold down the right mouse button and move my cursor up and to the right slowly to see the sketch is on the upright par portion of the mouse wheel. As soon as I touch that, it launches the insert sketch command and I'll select the front plane to put the sketch on this surface. Next I'll hold down my right mouse button and move my cursor straight down to turn on the rectangle tool. I'll select the center rectangle and then I'll click on the origin, move my cursor up and away, and click. Next I'll draw a circle. I'll hold down my right mouse button and move my cursor to the right. I'll click on the origin and click again. And finally, I'll add a dimension to this sketch. I'll hold down my right mouse button, move my cursor straight up, and then I'll click on these two endpoints and place a dimension 1.6. So now I'm ready to make the extrusion you see here. I'll exit the sketch. I'll launch the extrude command. I'll key in 0.4 for the th thickness. I'll click OK. And I'll reorient to a back view. 